Hello everyone. It's July 28th, 2020, Tuesday, 88 Fahrenheit, 31 Celsius. I'm in the neighborhood of Jackson Heights today at the corner of 40th Road and Junction Boulevard. Today I'm going to explore Jackson Heights, Queens and see how it's doing during the phase four reopening of the New York City economy from COVID. I've heard that this area is very, very lively now and I just had to check it out. You're gonna see a lot of action today. I can guarantee you that. This neighborhood is the most dense neighborhood in the New York City borough of Queens. And we're gonna have some fun today. All right, let's get started. Jackson Heights, Queens, here we come. So first off we have Antojitos. They're making tacos here on the sidewalk. And if you want to know where this place is, this is Junction Boulevard and 40th Road, homemade Takira. And they got all the specials here. Friday, a dollar tacos, taquitos, three for five bucks. Hopefully my cell phone signal holds up today. I, um, had some issues live streaming here last time with Verizon, but hopefully it cleared up. Uh, I teach asked me what happened in the station last night. I just ended the stream, that's all. I was gonna end it anyway, and I didn't, I didn't wanna draw any more attention to myself. I could have stayed recording if I wanted to, but I didn't want to at that point. Here's an Ecuadorian and international food restaurant, outdoor dining. Check out their pizza. Hello. It looks good, tasty. Little bit of sun glare, but two slices for five bucks and a small soda. That's great. All right, we're gonna hear some noise right now. We got, we're gonna have subway noise, traffic noise, people noises, music noises. Here's Junction Boulevard and Roosevelt Avenue. We're gonna walk Roosevelt Avenue today, just for a little bit. Look at all this activity here, folks. It's amazing. Three tacos for five bucks here at this taco stand. And if you want a smoothie, a juice smoothie, this person can make it for you. For a prostrate, energy, anemia, diabetes, lose weight. There's a salon there. Some vendors selling fashionable masks. Michael Forbes saying, stay hydrated, love your videos. Thank you so much, Michael. Appreciate it. And look at this. Jackson Heights now has a lot more outdoor dining than it used to. I was here about a month ago during phase two, maybe, maybe the start of phase three. And there were not nearly as many outdoor dining options as there are today. Of course, with the increase in outdoor dining, there's a lot more litter now, and the city is not picking up the garbage as often as they should. Here's a food truck named El Colorado. Delicias El Colorado. 
Looks good. Me, Colin, saying they should do something about the trash. Yeah, they should. Many people, they, um, they're not environmentally conscious and they litter, unfortunately. And the city is not doing enough to pick up the trash. I do know that alternate side parking is suspended, so it makes it very difficult for street cleaners to come out and clean the streets. And oftentimes the wind just picks up the litter and brings it onto the sidewalks and the streets. But Another overfill garbage bin. Another issue too, like this train pass. Another thing I want to mention too about this outdoor dining. Um, it's great that there's outdoor dining and all, but if you do come to this area, you kind of have to wait upon yourself if you want to eat here or not because you know it's so noisy here in Roosevelt Avenue and there's car traffic it's a busy street and sometimes the garbage gets picked up so do you want to be eating out here or not Here's a store with a lot of outdoor seating, but no one's here yet. Nuevo Tacos, Taquera and Restaurant. Are oh, you asking if I'm close to Little India? No, not right now. I'm still on 94th Street. It's a lot of music playing on Roosevelt Avenue. Seems like every single block there's music playing whether it's salsa or ethnic music, world music. So just keep that in mind if you want to come out here. It's going to be noisy. It might be dirty, but I think many people, they don't even care right now. They just want to go out, have a good time, socialize. Jaden saying YouTube's gonna copyright strike me for the music. Well, we'll see. I mean, if it gets really loud and I can't talk over it, then I'll mute the music, but I'll see. Someone was giving me the uh, sign, like you're doing good, man. Maybe he knew me. Da -da 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 That isn't really a song though, it's just repeating one rhythm. You gotta do a maze here. The uh, in and out, walking around the cars. I had some trouble streaming Jackson Heights with Verizon about a month ago, but we'll see if it continues or not. Right now I'm in the 90s, so I don't expect it to be bad at this point. It is a busy area and the cell phone companies are in their best interest to keep this area well serviced. So we'll see if Verizon fixed it or not. If it doesn't improve, I'm gonna have to switch phones. NJ, you liked my Liberty Ferry Cruise. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's so surreal now to see the Statue of Liberty with barely any people now.
Michael Forbes, you like the new emojis? You're welcome. I actually need to add back some old ones that I took away because there weren't enough slots, but when I get more members, I will add them back. I think starting from the next block, there's a lot of restaurants. And I don't even know what happened to the chat. Did it disappear? I can't even see anything anymore. Nobody's even popping up on my screen. But we got a restaurant here with a lot of outdoor scenery and music. This is the 90th Street area, Elmhurst Avenue. I'm gonna have to mute it a little bit. Oh, I was saying um, Verizon I'm having issues with. I'm going to switch phones because I just got some buffering over there and I knew a month ago I was having trouble streaming with Verizon before. So I'm going to end this one and make a new live stream.